Hi, I'm Mark Walsh of the HRSA OIT Telecom team with a telecom tip for the day. Today we're going to talk about configuring your headset with the Avaya 1X communicator. First we're going to start with the single ear wireless headset. If this is the one you've chosen, this is what you want to follow these instructions. First thing you want to do is plug in the USB receiver into a powered USB port on your laptop, docking station, or monitor. This allows communication between the headset and the computer. And then on the Via 1X communicator, you're going to go to the menu on the top right hand corner, select settings. Under devices and services, select audio. And then under the basic tab under audio, the first selection is microphone. You want to make sure it says transmit Plantronics D100, that's this headset. And then under speaker, the same thing. You want to make sure that it says Plantronics D100. And then there's a test button next to the volume control. Put the headset on. You'll click test and then you'll press the call control button on the side of the headset and you'll hear a Windows test. When you hear that, you know it's functioning properly. And then a little lower down, you'll see a ring additional device. You want to make sure that that says speakers, high definition audio. That means when you get a phone call, it will also it will ring on your laptop. And you also want to click test on that and you'll hear the Windows test, the same thing you would have heard in the headset. Click OK, and then you'll log into the Via One X communicator. And once you've done that, you're ready to make and receive phone calls using your single ear wireless headset. So now we're going to move on to the double ear wireless headset. It's going to be very similar. So we're going to be logged out, logged off the Via One X communicator because we want to change the settings when you're logged off. So here is the double ear wireless headset and the nano the USB nano receiver. First thing you want to do, plug in the nano receiver, get into a powered USB port, and Windows again will identify that you've installed a new piece of hardware. So there's nothing else to do, but it's automatically done. And again, you'll go to the menu, settings, select audio, and you want to make sure this one says under microphone and speaker Logitech wireless. So if it's not already selected, you want to click this drop down and select the Logitech wireless choice. And you'll put the headset on, you'll click test, and you'll hear the, uh, the Windows test. And then down underneath where it says ring additional device, again you want to make sure it says speakers, high definition audio so that phone calls will ring through your laptop or external speakers. Click OK, log on to the Avaya 1X communicator and you're ready to go. So we're going to take that USB receiver out, we'll put that down, and then the last one is the double ear wired headset. This is very identical steps. You're going to plug this into a powered USB port. Go to menu on the Via 1X communicator login screen, settings, select audio. Under microphone, make sure it says microphone Logitech USB headset. Under speaker, select make sure it says speakers Logitech USB headset. And if it doesn't, you select the drop down menu and select that choice. Put the headset on, you click the test button under speaker and next to the volume control you click test and you hear the, the Windows test. Once you've heard that you know everything's working properly, you click stop. Down below under ring additional device, make sure it says speakers high definition audio. Click test, you should hear the Windows test through your laptop or external speakers and you know that that's working properly. Click stop, click OK and then log into your the Avaya One X communicator and you're ready to go. That's been your Hersa Telecom tip for the day. Thank you.